Hello and welcome to another video of Mathematical Moments from Midland Science. Today we're going to read a wonderful story called Mama Panya's Pancakes and think mathematically about the story. Lots of stories have opportunities for grown-ups and children to discuss maths together and we particularly like this example because it is also a beautiful village tale from Kenya. This book, Mama Panya's Pancakes, was written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain and illustrated by Julia Cairns. It was published by Barefoot Books, whose website is well worth a look for anyone who would like their children to discover the rich tapestry of the world through storybooks. Before we start, I'd like you to think about what it means to be fair. How do you share things fairly? What if you have two buns? Or a chocolate bar with eight squares? Or a strawberry lace? How can you check that one of these things is shared equally? Can you share them in different ways? Mama Panya's Pancakes Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dousing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we go to market. Surprise, I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now Mama Panya had to hurry. After storing her pots, gathering her bag and slipping her feet into her sandals, Mama Panya called. I'm ready too, Adika. Where are you? Here I am, Mama. Two steps ahead of you. He sat under the baobab tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Why, yes, you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay! How many pancakes will you make? Mama fingered two coins folded in the cloth tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they saw Mzee Odolo sitting by the river. Habare za usubui? Mama asked softly so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out. We're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika! Mama whispered in his ear. Mzee Odolo waved back saying, Asante sana. Thank, thank you. I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Mzee. Adika said, He's our oldest friend. Hurry up, you're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Why did Mama whisper, Adika, in his ear? How many people was Mama expecting to make pancakes for? If Adika and Mama shared all of the pancakes equally between them, what fraction would they each get of the total amount? If Mze Odolo joins them and they share equally, what fraction will they now each get? Look, Mama, it's Sawandi and Neyman. Adika's friends tapped long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll be just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. How many people will be sharing the pancakes now? Ooh, how many people will that be? Let's see. Sawandi, Neyman, you and me, Adika counted, and Mse Aloro. That's only five. Aye, how many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. When Adika talks about a little bit and a little bit more, is he being exact about the number of pancakes Mama will make? Can you think of a time when it's okay to not be exact about the amount of something that you have? At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend Gamila at her plantain stand. Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? 
But before she could finish, he ran to greet his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear, You will come, won't you? Of course, Camilla replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Aye, aye. How much do you think I can stretch flower, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. What does Adika mean by stretch the flower? Can Mama Pan Panya make as many pancakes as she likes from the flour she buys? At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Buana Zawena, Mama asked, What can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Zawena, who scooped a cup of flour onto a piece of brown paper. Adika popped up. Mama's making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful. I think we can give a little more for that coin. Buana Zawena put a second cup onto the paper, then tied it up with string. We'll see you later. Mama tucked the package into her bag. Hi, ay, ay. You and I will be lucky to share half a pancake. But Mama, we have a little bit and a little bit more. Mama's money bought one cup of flour, but Bawana Zawena gave her a second. If one cup was enough for Mama and Adika, how many people can she make pancakes for now? Come, Adika, keep up with me. We may have just enough left for a small chilli pepper. Leave it to me, Mama, I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out, but he ran ahead to Rafiki Kaya's spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear. Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping two steps ahead, sang his reply. All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small twigs and sticks into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chilli pepper in a pot while Adika added some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop into the oiled pan on the fire. Who provides the food in this story? Who buys and prepares the food in your family? Where does the money come from? Where do you think Mama Panya's two coins came from? Sawandi and Neyman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hodi! Adika called Karibu to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Mze Odolo came soon after. Old Man River has given us three fish today. Gamilla arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. They go very well with pancakes. Bibi and Buana Zuena brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she brought handfuls of salt and cardamom spice along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Mze Odolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. Do you see anything in Adika's life that is similar to yours? Do you see anything that is different? Mama Panya brought enough money for one cup of flour to make pancakes for herself and Adika. If Bibi and Buana Zawena brought a cup of flour, how many cups of flour altogether did Mama have? Think about this story for a few minutes. When Mama Panya was thinking about how many pancakes she would need, did she need to plan the same amount of pancakes for every person? Should everyone always have the same? What do you think would be fair? 
Look at the people in the picture on the last page and think about what would be fair for the people in this picture. What would be enough? What should happen when people don't have enough? What could you do if you had more than you needed and saw that someone else didn't have enough? What happens if someone takes more than they need? Mama Panya brought enough money to buy one cup of flour and Oana Zuena gave her a second cup of flour at the market. Bibi and Oana Zuena brought a third cup of flour if one cup of flour was enough for two people, how many pancakes could Mama Panya make with three cups? Look again at the last page of the story. Count the children and the adults. If one pancake is enough for two children and one pancake is enough for one adult, how many pancakes should Mama Panya make? How many would you need for your family? You could use Play-Doh or something else to make them to find out. Can you draw pictures or write some words or numbers to show how you figured this out? Thank you very much for listening to our story today. We hope you enjoyed it and that you enjoyed thinking about all the mathematics in the story. We look forward to seeing you again in Midland Science.